You were looking at the newest thing. Everybody's talking about a GDC, the Project Morpheus uh, for the PlayStation 4. This is a virtual reality headset, and we've got a couple of folks from Sony, including Anton Mikhailov, whose name I mangled, but he's not going to be too mad at me, and he's going to explain what we're looking at here. <laughs> so uh, people have talked about virtual reality headsets a bit already, uh, but tell us about the PlayStation 1 and what's special about it. So, you know, one thing you notice right away are the tracking LEDs. So we have a total of six tracking LEDs, four in the front and two in the back. And this allows for 360 degree tracking while you're looking up, you're looking down to the side and behind you. Okay, the, the PlayStation camera is The PlayStation is camera is doing the tracking. Do it's a similar technology to the DualShock and the Move. Uh, there's also a lot of adjustability on the headset. Um, there's a sort of support headband which you can use to put the unit on and adjust the optic. Right. And then there's also uh, a rear headband which sort of for comfort clamps your head in and reduces any kind of shake. There's also a front optic block adjustment, so if you have glasses, there's a slider here that you can pull out and you can move the optic block in and out. So when you're right. putting it on, if you have glasses, you can slide it okay, out. You were looking at the one and only Kirk Hamilton wearing the new Project Morpheus, this is the prototype VR headset for the PlayStation 4. Kirk is in something called, uh, called the, the Deep, right? Uh, and what you see on the TV here is what Kirk is seeing through his headset. Kirk, talk, talk to us here. What, what does it look like? I am confronting cool. something I'm actually very afraid to do. I'm going um, deep underwater and uh, I'm checking out some fish. And you can see it, like, if you guys can see the screen of what I'm seeing, I can see my own body. I'm wearing a diving suit. Right, and if you aim by moving the dual shock around. And if you turn, it moves. It, it turns, right? So right, so I can look all the way around here. Oh, look at my body. Weird. And, uh, but if, and if you look up, it'll it'll you'll see up right and yeah, okay. So you're in a shark cage, which I'm sure nothing, I'm nothing, sure nothing bad will happen at all. Oh, looks like you're bleeding. That's not good. Now, Kirk, you used you've used the Oculus as well. Is this feeling uh, impressive to you? Uh, it feels really similar, actually. Um, the which the is a good graphic, thing. Yeah, it looks about the same, and I would say a good thing. Um, yeah. You're not I, getting any motion sickness or anything like that, right? Uh, no, no, it's good. not feeling queasy at all. And it fits okay over my glasses. It's a little funky, but it fits pretty good. If I can just aim independently here and wave my arm around. No, I did the E-Valkyrie thing before I started filming this, and that's, you're in like a starship, and you're doing dogfighting, and you're looking all around the cockpit and you're seeing ships out there. This is a slower paced um, one. Yeah, well, it's about to get, I think, more exciting because a huge shark just swam by. Yeah, we see that in, uh, <laughs> looking at the television right now. So this might not be the thing for people who are afraid of sharks. Or maybe it will be and it'll help them face their fears. Oh, Kirk, I see your V. Oh, here we go. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> the flare in the mouth. Shoot a flare, Kirk. Shoot a flare. <laughs> I'm trying. I already oh, wasted flares. my flare. I didn't really he he used all his flares already. This lady on the radio with me is very concerned. I'm noticing, Kirk. Your style is you keep your feet planted on the ground. You're not a turn around. He's all I guess I could swivel. Do that, huh? Yeah. I don't want to get all turned up in the cords though. So you I can, cords. You can that would wind up with me falling down in front of everybody. Oh dear. You can actually crouch down, you can move side to side. Yeah, oh, I like can. That. Yeah, all of that's tracked, yeah. Right, because it's looking at the different uh, the position yeah. of the headset right. with the Right, yeah, the it is. I okay. noticed it was the same positional stuff as Oculus when I was doing the Eve demo as well. Yeah, you I... Can lean in and check things out. I, I, you know, I think this is one of those things, it's like the 3D and the 3DS, that's hard for people who don't see it themselves to appreciate. But I... Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, I did this demo before, and when the shark came at me at that exact moment there, <laughs> Yeah, it freaked me out too. <laughs> it's, you know, you have kind of natural reactions in these situations. He's not going away. No, I missed him. Oh, all right, you can turn all around. In this situation anyway. You can turn her all around. All right, Kirk's Kirk's trying to find the shark, but yeah, I think you're out of flares. I had the same problem. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. You're gonna get oh, chewed that's, that's up. Too bad. So there you go, uh, Project Morpheus. Definitely something very cool to experience yourself, uh, and we were very happy to get an opportunity. At GDC. So, Kirk, what are the closing thoughts? It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm impressed.